Let's talk about SharePoint lists and what integrating Adobe Sign functionality straight from the SharePoint list user interface looks like. So SharePoint is where all of your documents already are. So wouldn't it be nice if your signing process could originate straight from there too? Let me show you what it looks like to the full power of a piece of software like Adobe Sign straight from within your SharePoint experience and what that experience looks like for the recipient of your document. So here we have a SharePoint user, Tim Watley, and he wants to send this particular agreement to Adobe Sign from a SharePoint list containing account information. After selecting a list item, Tim chooses to send the item to Sign. Using SharePoint lists, we can start with the item that needs to be sent. We have another video showcasing what this process looks like when you start with choosing the recipient first and then selecting the document. So here, the agreement details are configured before sending to the recipient, Jane Smith. Tim then selects the document template from the Adobe Sign Library in SharePoint. The recipient, Jane, receives an email from Adobe Sign, letting them know that an agreement is awaiting their signature. Jane opens the agreement to see account information populated in the form. Jane adds in the missing information to the application and signs the document. Information that Jane added to the form has been added to the list item in SharePoint. And signed documents are added to the designated folders. And it's all right there. Tim never had to leave SharePoint or log into another application. Even better, the recipient of his request had a smooth and seamless experience as well. If you're interested in learning how you can have this and other time-saving and error-reducing integrations in your workflow, contact us through the link in the description of this video or reach out on our website at aftia.com backslash contact us. Subscribe for more content and notifications. And thanks for watching.